And okay, we'll kick off. So, you know, yeah, economic news, Canada. Um, so it's a quiet week ahead on economic releases, certainly other, look, we broke it, zero print. Um, certainly in terms of um, US, the one thing that could move us a bit, um, there is Billy Delphia something on Thursday. Hang on, my scrolling is not going well. Where are we? Da, 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 da. Home sales, that can move us a bit. Yeah, Philly Fed manufacturing survey, that, that can create a bit of movement. So be mindful of Thursday. It's not a massive docket this week, but, you know, obviously stay aware. Um, what is more likely to move us is earnings. Yeah, with some big earnings coming out the weekend. We've got Bank of America tomorrow, Netflix, um, TSMC, so some tech there as well. So, you know, earnings continue. But as we mentioned last week in last week's Ides, we are really uncorrelated. YM and ES have improved on their correlation. NQ is way out of step. Yeah. So we've had tech leading us up um, of late and like, past two, three days. But it's been this inverse relationship almost between banks and tech that's been going on. And this makes stuff a little bit awkward when we're looking for everything to get aligned. And Friday was a great example of that, where off the bank earnings in the morning, you know, we went up, 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 up. We got to some arbitrary boundary around 88, 89. Then everything changed and we came down, but we ended up back in the range. But the shift in sentiment on Friday was so pronounced um, once we got to about 9.30, 10 o'clock um, central. And we've got to be super mindful of that at the moment, partly because of earnings um, and because we're so uncorrelated. So you really need to be looking at all the indices and not getting too locked in to any given direction. Later in the morning, once everything starts moving in an aligned way, it's quite good. But we can turn on a dime. Um, so this lack of correlation is making stuff quite difficult. If we look at the dailies, ES has been grinding its way up. You know, it looks quite sedate on this daily chart, which I'm highlighting. But, you know, as we know during the session, it's really not that. Uh, so but look, ES is down now. NQ is pretty much in a range. You can see that. And we've got a range bounded at the top by, what, 13,300? So... 350, something like that. The low is sitting there. It got tagged on Friday, about 9.30, 9.25. We're in a range. RTY even is really, you know, we've got a near-term range the past three, four days and wider one um, back to, uh, let's say, turn of the month. That's quite a broad range. And YM has been grinding up. So it's awkward. Um and as we always say, you know, for a Monday, you know, don't rush it on the Monday. Let things settle. Um, but stuff's awkward. O overnight on ES, really small range. You know, we can see that on the TPO. Um, you know, compare what's been going on overnight to... Though it's near identical to uh, Thursday nights. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, wow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, it's really identical. Holy cow. And and what's interesting, Friday, we nibbled down into the TPO single prints that were left from Wednesday's releases, both CPI and FOMC. So if we have a look to qualify the lower Friday, you know, we would expect this area down to 32, 33 to get filled in. Everything else has. On Friday, on the run-up from the banking info, we filled in that last orange line batch of single prints. Um, but yeah, the behavior is really you know quite similar. So let's take a quick look at Friday's low and understand what's what there. Uh, so Friday, it's going to take a bit of scrolling. It was absorption up at the top, up at 89. The low has a pretty decent price rejector. Yeah. Um, things are awkward. Yeah. We've nibbled into this area 
but they're not going to stay unresolved forever, this poor structure. So for the approaching day, you know, day ahead, we've got to be really quite um, wary, cautious. It's absolutely not a day to be diving in quickly based on I've got this big idea. We're, we're truly at a point at the moment, you know, anything could happen. Tight overnight range. ES has been creeping down. Not a price trajectory at the top, but it's not the most favorable type of not a price trajectory. It's a lack of opposing aggression. We've left UB at the bottom um, at the moment. So, you know, we'd think that's going to resolve. What are the ATR boundaries at the moment? So 41, 45-ish, 41, 92. How does that relate to what we've seen previously? Well, this sort of 45 area would be some value area boundary from Friday. 52, did I say 52? Um, 92. 41, 92. So around Friday's high, anything could happen. Yeah. So we, we've just got to be super wary um, as we head into this week. NQ, what's that like at the low crunched? It's uh, overnight, price trajectory at the low, UB at the high. But, you know, so what? We're not well correlated at the moment. So my recommendation as we go into this morning is, is it's not so much sit on hands, but don't rush into anything. Yeah, there's not a clear picture of what could go on. Um, we're going to be driven by earnings this week. As Tom points out it's Tesla as well on Thursday. So we have Netflix and Tesla floating around. And it's going to be fun to watch. Um, yeah, it has potential to be a week that could trip you up if your head is in the wrong place um, because we can have a lot of conflicting um, directions, push-pull, um, and information. So that's kind of my take on the week. Relatively quiet in terms of IDs. You know, there's not much else on the calendar. Um, our week ahead on TRG, regular week. Um, I'll be in the fishing trip tomorrow. Um, we can tag team it like we did last week, JBC, or I might lead. We'll Great. play that by ear. Cool. Um, Jeff will be around to do his scalpers mindset at 11.30 Eastern this morning. Um, it's regular schedule. Do you know what the dojo theme is on Wednesday, JBC? I do not. I will probably find that out today. Cool. Okay. Uh, another fishing trip on Thursday, and then we'll end the week as normal, weekly recap, and gaming the equities close. So from my perspective, you know, that's about it. I I recommend, I wouldn't say caution, but a lot of patience this morning. You know, just hang back. There's going to be no urgency to do anything. The tightness of the range is what's really stand out. Um, you know, we saw that on Thursday. We're seeing the same thing in the overnight, so Thursday and Friday. We're seeing the same thing again today. Um, I like the single prints to the downside. We've got a big fat round number above us. Looks like, you know, lots of negative delta here below the open, below 72, but we're down there at the moment. And, you know, the question to ask yourself is why has ES been creeping around the low all morning? And what caused that push down? Um, you know, why is there, why was there good comfort to the downside? So can't answer that because why never matters, but be aware that's what's been happening. So there's some degree of attraction to the downside at the moment. But other than that, a day to be cautious. And as ever, don't try and make your week today. Um, just, you know, we've got the whole week. Just see what's that. What? So from my side, that's about it. JVC, anything you'd like to add? No, nothing from me. It's uh, going to be a, a good day to just kind of hang back and let things unfold. Try not to be in a hurry. So that's my plan. Totally. I think that there's a couple of good sales on at the evaluators. Apex are doing yep. 90% until midnight tomorrow, I think, end of Tuesday. Uh, Lee no, it's going to the 20th. 20th. Okay, Wednesday. Yeah. Um, Lee Lu are doing similar till tomorrow, and Boulinox have matched them also on 90%. So it's actually going through until Thursday, end of Thursday. Cool. So, you know, if you're looking for some cheap evals, um, then, you know, the next couple of days is your opportunity to get them for, you know, between 10 and 20 bucks for 25 or 50K, which is great. 
Um, plus, of course, Lilu and Apex have the one-time fee as well. So you've got potential of, you know, 1500 bucks of drawdown um, for 10% of that at the Blue moment. Linux as well. Funded fee. Yes. Um, so if, if you're not loaded up and you are able to get these passed, now's the time to do it. And if you do, please do use the TRG affiliate links. It all helps stoke the uh, furnaces that keep TRG running. So, yes, uh, <laughs> on that, unless we've got any other questions, we will leave it there. Have a good day, everyone. And Jeff will see you in his scalping session in a couple of hours' time.